Hello students, so let's try to solve one very beautiful problem from CSIR net examination. It was held on 16 September 2022. The problem is from quantum mechanics and this is from time dependent perturbation. This is very nice problem. So look at what is this particular problem. At the time t is equal to zero, the particle is at ground state of Hamiltonian. This is Hamiltonian and in this Hamiltonian, there is this part is harmonic oscillator and there is a, some another part of potential energy which will function of time and x. And this is sinusoidal function. So this is very interesting. So at t is equal to zero, the particle is in ground state of Hamiltonian. So at t is equal to zero, it has not any significant. So particle is in ground state of Hamiltonian. So this is first statement given and obviously lambda omega are some positive constant. This omega is basically you can assume this is uh, angular frequency. And now what we have to do, we have to calculate what will be probability that at time t is equal to 2 pi by omega at time t is equal to 2 pi by omega the particle will be in the first excited state. So particle will be in the first excited state of h t is equal to zero. So particle will be first excited state of the when your time t is equal to zero. So when again time t is equal to zero, the particle will be in the first excited state and let's say this excited state is one. So we have to find the, this probability up to order of lambda square. So you can see in this problem, they have asked in a very complicated manner. Actually, what they are asking, they are asking what will be transition probability such that your particle will be in the first excited state of the original Hamiltonian at time t is equal to 2 pi by omega. So this is a purely a uh, time dependent perturbation problem, we have to calculate the transition probability actually. So first we have to identify what we have to calculate. So we can assume this is my original Hamiltonian. This is my perturbed Hamiltonian and we have to find this thing up to lambda square, this transition probability up to lambda square. So let's try to solve this uh, very nice problem. So first we have to and you should go into this problem with the first principle. You should start with the formula and do each and every calculation. So there are two and three part of calculation. And finally, we can solve it completely. So let's try to go for a uh, all particular calculation. So transition probability. So probability between transition between 0 to 1 is given by a uh, V one zero mod square. This is a transition matrix by H cut square integration zero to T and here T is given by two pi by omega F T E to the power I omega naught T DT mod square. So here we have to calculate omega naught. We have and ft is nothing but uh, sin omega t and we have to calculate this special part of transition probability that is if you are using the perturbation x then what will we change into a special part this is time part this is a special part and we have to use our basic calculation so let's try to calculate each and everything step by step so what is your omega naught so first omega naught is all about so if we are calculating this particular omega naught, and this will be EF minus EI upon H cut. Here EF is equal to E1, EI is equal to E0 upon H cut, final state minus initial state by H cut. And you can easily calculate this value is equal to 3 by 2 H cut omega minus 1 by 2 H cut omega by H cut. So this value is equal to omega. So we have calculated this particular value. So you have omega naught is equal to omega. What is my ft? 
in the ft the time part of of perturbation is basically sin omega t now we have to calculate v1f and this v1f for the spatial part so let's try to go for calculating v1f so this v10 is equal to 1 lambda x 0 now we can use the concept of harmonic oscillator so here x can be written as root under h cut upon 2m omega a plus a dagger so this is my x operator so we have to calculate v10 and this is and i can take this one as common so this is h cut upon 2m omega we have to go for and i can take lambda outside because it's a constant so 1 a 0 and you can calculate this is 1 a dagger 0 so this term is not going to survive because a will operate on 0 it will give you 0 a dagger will operate on 0 it will give a same state of a so this is going to survive so we have v 1 0 is equal to lambda h cut upon 2m omega to the power half so i am writing each and everything here so we have calculated v10 that value is equal to lambda h cut upon 2m omega and yes we have to calculate mod square so you can write this thing as a mod square lambda square h cut upon 2m omega so we have calculated first part so step by step you have to calculate because it's a long question and a, it's a five marks question so you have to be very much careful about all your calculation now let's try to go for a second calculation so second calculation we have to calculate this particular thing so let's try to go for it so i am just going to remove all this thing and then we will calculate this particular integration i i can say this integration is i it's a very interesting so let's try to go for calculating this particular integration let me clean my board nicely and then we will go for this particular integration okay so we have to just go for i and this i is 0 to 2 pi omega ft this is temporal part of perturbation e to the power i omega naught t dt this will be equivalent to 0 to 2 pi by omega and this value ft is nothing sin omega t by 2 and e to the power i omega t dt so now we have to just go for this particular calculation so what we have to do we will just open it into exponential part and we will divide it into two particular integration so first integration will be and 1 upon 2i is always there so first integration is 0 to 2 pi e to the power i omega t by 2 this is from here and e to the power i omega t dt minus 0 to 2 pi e to the power i omega t upon 2 with the negative sign and e to the power i omega t dt so this is our calculation and we have a very simple calculation right now 2i and 2 pi upon omega this is also 2 pi upon omega so what we have the first integration is 0 to 2 pi by omega e to the power 3 by 2 i omega t dt and minus 0 to 2 pi upon omega e to the power i omega t upon 2 dt so this now you can easily solve this to integration and you can put limit 2 pi by omega on the final part so i have solved all this thing so finally what you will get you will get this integration 
is equivalent to 4 upon 3 omega. I am just leaving this integration to you. You can just do it with yourself. And the final will be the 4 upon 3 omega. So this will be your final integration. Now let's try to go for probability part. And we can put each and everything from here and we can get the final answer. So let's try to go for a final value of our answer. So this is exponential integration. So you can easily do it now. So obviously we have calculated this i square. This i square is equal to 4 upon 3 omega whole square. That is 16 upon 9 omega square. Okay. Now we will put each and everything here and we will get the final answer. So probability between 0 to first excited state. So you can give this particular arrow. The first term is lambda square h cut upon 2m omega. And this is i square. So this is mod i square. And that value is equal to 16 upon 9 omega square. And 1 upon h cut square is also there. So the answer will be we have we have 8 here. So we have 8 and 1 h cut will be cancel out. So this will be 8 lambda square upon m omega cube h cut and 9 will be the final term. And this is my transition probability. Look at this particular answer and it's a awesome. So what you have to do, you have to understand each and every notation of this particular formula. Some people have tried to use this formula with a shortcut method, which was given into book, but that is not the case because the shortcut method was used only when omega omega naught is near about omega. Then only you can use this particular thing. Otherwise, you can not use particular thing. You have to go with the first principle. So this is a very nice problem. You have to do it with yourself. I am just giving you solution. The every step, one step I have left, that is the simple integration. You can do it. But now you have to see that how we should approach any lengthy question step by step. And the beautiful part of this in this question is that you have concept of harmonic oscillator. You have concept of perturbation. You have concept of time dependent perturbation. And the language of this particular problem is really, really awesome. So just try to go for this question. Thank you.